Okay, so let's continue here and hopefully end it off. This is Proverbs 16 and 16. There are six things Yahweh hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. And this is why in Proverbs 11 and 3 it says, The integrity of the upright guides them. It does not deliver them. It does not save them. It guides them. Guides them in following in the ways of Yahweh. It guides them in being faithful to their God. The integrity of the upright guides them. But the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. Wealth is worthless in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivers from death. All right, this is why it says here, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity because the unfaithful, you know, they love to say with their mouth that they love God, but their hearts are far from God because they don't know God. This is why when calamities and disasters come, they want to say, oh, well, we have to pray, pray, you know, pray to God, everybody, but what God are you worshipping? Is it gold all you in diamonds? Gold all you in drugs? Gold all you in death? That's your God? Because you don't know God. Jeremiah 9 and 24. But let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me. That I am Yahweh, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares Yahweh. You see that? You see that? That's the reason why the integrity of the upright guides them. It does not deliver them, but it guides them. But the unfaithful, they know nothing about that, right? And these people that tell lies on the television, they know nothing about that, right? They're all wasted away, a chasing after the wind. Just like today, there was a, a mass shooting in Las Vegas, right? And this concert. And some people saying that it's staged. Some people saying that, you know, it's, it's its own U.S. government doing these terrorist attacks. Which, you know, it's, it's possible. I agree with some people. Maybe it is. But most importantly, right? We have to understand that the Most High Yahweh spoke about this. You see that? Ultimately... It is the Most High Yahweh who is doing this, which we will talk about. So let's read this in Psalms 59 and 12 about your government, about your news media. Look what it says. For the sins of their mouth, for the words of their lips, let them be caught in their pride. For the curses and lies they utter, consume them in your wrath. Consume them till they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that the Most High rules over Jacob. Okay? So you have to understand that uh, I'm never rejoicing over anybody's death. Because I'm pretty sure people probably did die here. Alright? And it's, and it's always a tragic thing when people die. All right, so I don't rejoice over anybody's death, but I'm always here to remind you that this is what God says that will happen to you if you do not want to obey him, if you do not want to revere him, but you, you always want to be about your money. You always want to be about your concerts, right? You always want to be about, you know, pleasures. You want to be about your entertainment. Well, you have to understand this here. This is why this is happening, because you have no time for God. You don't want to care about God. You don't care to, to acknowledge the true living God, right? You just want to continue to be complacent with what your grandmommy taught you about God and what your ancestors taught you about God. You like to follow in the traditions of your families, right? So this is why this is happening. 
Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait for me, declares Yahweh. Again, what does it mean to wait for Yahweh, our God? It means to wait for his word to come to pass. This is what it means. Therefore, wait for me, declares Yahweh. For the day, I will stand up to testify. I have decided to assemble the nations, to gather the kingdoms, and to pour out my wrath on them, or my fierce anger. The whole world will be consumed by the fire of my jealous anger. Okay, the time is now. The Most High is making a way for all peoples of all languages of all colors. It is on you though. It's your mind, it's your brain, it's your time. You have to devote your time to your how. You have to give your heart, your mind, to want to seek his face, to want to know who's your God. Zephaniah 3 and 9 says, Then I will purify the lips of the peoples, right? Because right now, the Most High Yahweh says that the people, they only honor him with their lips. So he's going to purify their lips, okay? That all of them may call on the name of Yahweh and serve him shoulder to shoulder. This is what it means to know your God, all right? Not to just talk about your God, not to just, you know, ask your God to save you in times of troubles, right? Which again, you know, many people may say that this is a hoax, this is fake, whatever, you know? They can believe what they want, but me, what I believe is this here. I believe the words of Yahweh, and look what it says here in Isaiah 8 and 12. Do not call conspiracy everything this people calls a conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear, and do not dread it. You see that? So, you know, some people may say this is a conspiracy. That's all right. You can believe that if you want. But ultimately, we already know that nothing or no one is more powerful than the Most High Yahweh. So this is why it says here in the, in the next verse. Yahweh Almighty is the one you are to regard as holy. He is the one you are to fear. He is the one you are to dread. You see that? Not, not your shadow government, right? Because, you know, hey, like I said, it's possible that they are the ones doing these things, right? You know, you got to understand that news, the news is like a TV show, all right? The show must go on. So, you know, when they don't have... A hurricane to report on right when they don't have nothing else well they have to go out there and make some news you understand that so it's possible that this is happening but ultimately it goes back to Yahweh because Yahweh is the one that we are to fear Yahweh is the one that we are to dread okay the most high Yahweh says in Micah 2 and, two and 1 woe to those who plan inequity the shadow government, right? All these people that, that like to uh, scare their own people. They want to make their own people think that we're being bombed and invaded by other countries. But in reality, it's their own government. Woe to those who plan inequity. To those who plot evil on their beds. At morning's light, they carry it out because it is in their power to do it. But check this out now. They covet fields and seize them and houses and take them. They defraud people of their homes. They rob them of their inheritance. Right? We talked about the locusts. We talked about these people, right? Who took this land and named it their own, right? And tried to force their ways upon our people after they took this land. So look what it says here. Therefore, Yahweh says, I am planning disaster against this same very people as this from which you cannot save yourselves you will no longer walk proudly for it will be a time of calamity remember that it does not matter how much you tell the people to pray it does not matter how much you say oh you know God we love you that's all fine and dandy God says that your prayers will not be answered. Your prayers are an abomination to him because you do not know who is God. All right? You people out there are worshiping foreign gods, bowing down to worthless idols that cannot save you. This is why these calamities are coming to you. All right? Because you do not know who is God. Again, 
I am planning disaster against this people from which you cannot save yourselves. You will no longer walk proudly. Do you understand that? You will no longer walk proudly, for it will be a time of calamity. These are the times that we are living in. Woe to the oppressors. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Restoration of Yasharao and Yahweh though. You see that? You see how judgment and restoration is happening simultaneously. How awful that day will be. No other day will be like it. It will be a time for Jake. Sorry, it will be a time of trouble for Jacob. But he will be saved out of it. Why? Because it goes hand in hand with this here. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find this. Okay, Obadiah, chapter 1, starting at verse 16. Look what it says here. The deliverance of Yashara. Just as you drink on my holy, sorry, just as you drink on my holy hill, so all the nations will drink continually. They will drink and drink and be as if they had never been. But on Mount Tezaya 1, will be deliverance it will be holy and Jacob will possess his inheritance okay so you know we're gonna go back to this scripture here where it says uh, just as you drink on my holy hill so all the nations will drink continually because this is also a precept to Isaiah the 19th chapter let's see if we can find this scripture quickly where the Most High Yahweh says this here in Isaiah 19 and 2 I will stir up I will stir up Egyptian against Egyptian right we already talked about how you know the Ptolemies they were considered to be pharaohs of Egypt of independent Egypt right so this is what's going on now Egyptian against Egyptian the Greek Egyptians against the original Egyptians the sons of Ham I will stir up Egyptian against Egyptian, brother will fight against brother, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. This is the time that we are living in, alright? Rumors of war. It says here, the Egyptians will lose heart and I will bring their plans to nothing. They will consult the idols and the spirits of the dead, the mediums and the spiritists. So this is, this is what's going on in these times and in these days. That says, I will hand the Egyptians over to the power of a cruel master, and a fierce king will rule over them, declares Yahweh, Yahweh Almighty, which this is talking about, Mr. Trump, okay? This is what's happening now in these times and in these days, right? I mean, Mr. Trump had also said in an old interview that he was cut out of the same cloth as Alexander the Great, right? And a fierce king will rule over them. Is this history repeating itself again? No. This is the words of the Most High Yahweh coming to pass. That's what it is. Okay? Because the Most High Yahweh told you that he was going to raise up the Babylonians in your lifetime. You see that? How awful that day will be. No other will be like it. It will be a time of trouble for Jacob, but he will be saved out of it. It says, and that day declares Yahweh Almighty, I will break the yoke off their necks and will tear off their bonds no longer. You see that? That's the key point here. This is why you got to rejoice because this is freedom. See that? This is real freedom. This is what it means to, to really be redeemed. No longer will foreigners enslave them. Now let's read Isaiah 57 and 12. And it says here, right, about the idolaters. Because remember, this is all happening simultaneously, okay? Uh, restoration and and, 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 and you know, and, uh, and redemption for those who trust in the name of Yahweh. But judgment and calamities for those who want to trust in themselves, those who want to trust in worthless idols, this is what's going on. So let's read here where it says, The Most High condemns idolatry. Isaiah 57 and 12, I will expose your righteousness and your so-called good deeds. And they will not benefit you. You see that? 
You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why your integrity can only guide you in following the right path of Yahweh and in being faithful to Him. But it will not deliver you. It will not save you. You understand that? Okay? So it says here, When you cry out for help, let your collection of idols save you. Right? I mean, just like now. Right? There's this mass shooting that happened in America. You know, the news, they're out there reporting it. It's going to be on for the next couple days. So this is what's going on right now. Everybody's saying, oh, you know, pray for Las Vegas. Pray for, for this person. Pray for that person. Man, let's understand this here, you know, real quickly before I continue. You know, and I don't want to sound so harsh, but I'm just going to say it the way it is. A lot of people are full of shit. Do you understand that? Because before this Facebook and social media stuff came out, right? You people weren't worried about, you know, a, 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 a hurricane hitting the islands. You know how many times hurricanes been hitting the islands and you people never said nothing. But since now, everybody got social media, right? Since now, everybody has the damn internet. Everybody has something to say now. You see that? Now everybody want to go ahead and change their profile picture to a certain flag anytime something happens to that land, right? So this is what it is. This is what's going on. All right, the most high Yahweh says that, you know, people, people are temporal, man. And the things they, the things they worship is, is temporal. The things they, the things that they're given over to is, is temporal, is vanity. You understand that? It's vanity. So this is why the most high Yahweh says that in these times and in these days, you're going to have to go through what you're going to have to go through because the most high is tired of holding back. He is tired of being merciful. He is tired of you people. Trotting on the foot, his mercies and everything he has done for all who trust in him. So Isaiah 57 and 13. When you cry out for help, let your collection of idols save you. The wind will carry all of them off. A mere breath will blow them away. But whoever takes refuge in me will inherit the land and possess my holy mountain. You see that? This is why the Most High Yahweh says that in, you know, in, in, your, in your time of trouble, we're going to see who's God and who's not. Okay? Isaiah 16 and 8. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. In their hearts, humans plan their course. But Yahweh establishes their steps. Let's understand this here, humans. Right? There's an emptiness inside of you. Always remember that. Okay? And that emptiness will only be fulfilled once you follow in the ways of the Most High. Once you have acknowledged your Creator. That emptiness inside your heart will be filled. Alright? This is why the Most High Yahweh says that He will... He will give you a spirit to know Him, alright? He will move you to follow in His ways. You will no longer want to be out there going to concerts. You will, you will no longer be out there, you know, wanting to do the things of the world. And again, I'm not basically saying that you should deprive yourself from having a good, a good time. But what I'm trying to say is that when you have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you're going to know about the times that we're living in okay you're gonna think twice about going out to a concert at 12 o'clock in the and you know 12 o'clock at midnight dancing out there you see that you have to understand that the human mind right it has no fear of god so this is what's going on okay this is what's going on in their hearts humans plan their course they have time for everything else except the most high so look what it says. But Yahweh establishes their steps. Why do you think those who trust in Yahweh, right? He guards their steps. He makes sure wherever they are, nothing happens to them. Okay? Verse 10 says, The lips of a king speak as an oracle, and his mouth does not betray justice. Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me? against the wicked who will take a stand for me against evildoers unless Yahweh had given me help I would soon have dealt 
and the silence of death.